Hey guys, welcome back to part three of the black playthrough on the original Xbox. And this part is gonna be Nazran Town. So let's go. How did you know McCarver had information on the American? I'm not sure I follow. Keller started grilling me on seventh wave. I told him what I knew. And what was that? <sighs> Rumors, mostly. There was talk of an American running training camps in Afghanistan, freelance guerrilla group in the Philippines with an American advisor. You know, stories like that. And you believed them? Not at first. But then the blanks started filling in. What blanks? Operation Cleopatra. The first time I heard the name William Lennox was when I was posted in Langley. Lennox was a wet work specialist. S4 assassin. Cleopatra was meant to prevent the terrorist bombing in the center of Cairo. It was a disaster. The bomb exploded, killed a lot of people, including Lennox. At least that's what Division thought. Three months later, he turned up in Moscow. Two weeks after, in Seoul. Then Belgrade, Belfast, London. Always one step ahead. And do you think Lennox is connected to Seventh Wave? Connected? <laughs> he started the whole thing. McCarver was brought in yesterday. So how did you know she had info on the American? Sergeant Solomon was in her unit. He tipped me off. Coincidence, that's all. I don't believe in coincidence. What was your brief on the next stop? McCarver wanted an access of advance from the east. Plan was to cross the cemetery on the edge of Nazran and then hit the steel plant on the far side. We were less than a click away when we got hit. So here we go. So I got to cross the cemetery first of all to the steel plant. I really like this level actually, it's a lot of fun. Some absolutely excellent levels throughout this game. Some real tough ones as well. <laughs> so hopefully, so far so good. First two stages went well, let's hope this one does. Look at that, I just love the graphics on this stage. Look at the lighting again, like stage two. Yeah. Lighting through the trees, like beautiful it. detail on the trees. That nice smoke effects. Kind of reminds me of the first time I saw Call of Duty 2 on a 360. <laughs> I was just blown away by smoke. Okay, here we go. It's the graveyard. Keep your head on a swivel. Intel reports right, okay, snipers sniper. in the area. Beautiful shade of light. Shaft of light, even. So here, you want to just hide behind the gravestones because the building up ahead there. Shit, See the over. shooter up in the... Shoot there he is there. Of course, you can shoot them out. If you want to be careful, you don't get shot in the head. There you are, no. It's pretty straightforward. You just basically just want to stay in cover, you're alright. <laughs> you got me bastard. You can spray him. Sub, sub jury base, though. He's like, okay, man. That's what you got to do. Blow that up and it'll take the building down. Where is it? Oh, that's the music. Right, okay, so. One thing I always used to miss when I played this. This is that music. God, I love the way it does that. It's brilliant. Just take this bloke out first. Just cut his legs out. Right, first thing you got to do is go down here. Because in the basement, there is intel. So there's a little safe if you want to blast that. I used to walk past that all the time. It took me forever to figure it out. Thing with the game, you have to really search for the intel because some of the stuff you don't even realize is intel. What stuff you can, can shoot and explode, suppress them nice. Right, let's just start the off. Right, basically, they're going to try and rush me, so I've got to attack stand my ground there. Here they come. LT, you see this? Multiple targets bearing down on our location. Of course, it's now reversed, and I've got the opportunity to take out both stones. There's a... We got more hostiles coming in. Okay, that's two there. If he just stays still. Got him. Let's get one down. One down top. Bottom. There he is. Go and find the right. Spring prejudice is on this bit, which is 
They're all still in the building, my boss. Oh, look at that. He didn't even know what was coming. Where's the other cat gun? He's gone. He's on the right somewhere. Oh, I can hear gunfire on the left. Where is it? Looking right around there, fans, you always know where they are. There's definitely a guy on the right hand side, I don't know where he's gone. I can hear a voice on the left and shooting, where is he? Who's shooting? There he is. Got him. I hear faint gunfire. Who's shooting at me? Where are you, you bastard? Ah, he's up front. Oh, there he is. Shit, Missy. Just take his cover out. There we go. Ah, oh, he's down. Damn it, where's that coming from? Ah, top left. Oh, right in the face. Right inside. Sometimes it can be quite tough to work out where they are. You can hear the gunfire, but you can't actually see the man. Right, is that it? No, because I can hear more. Oh, you shit. Oh, he's right. <laughs> he's right behind me, apparently. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Why did he kill me? Where is that? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's go, god damn it. <laughs> right, I've got a truck across there. I'll grab the AK while I'm on it. Nice. Right, whip me staff off right. You see the tower up ahead. There's a geezer hiding in there as well. You can just see his legs. There you go, that's it, got you. Right. So I've played this game a lot, I know, look, <laughs> not one time I know it's not in the back of my hand, but I pretty much remember most of where things are going to come from. So this guy's going to rush me down there, I can hear him already. Music on this level is brilliant. It's so cinematic. Right, I'll just try and get a headshot on this guy. Listen to that, oh, it's so brilliant. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, she's woke his mate up, right, it's great then, so. Try and use cover as much as you can. Because it really does help. Because if you have to suddenly do a reload, you're going to feel exposed. And I just heard the birds following. You're going to get screwed big time. Because there's nothing worse than this game than getting caught in the middle of a bloody reload. And there's like two or three cats coming at you with AKs and you're, just, you're done for. Alright, let's do it down here. Just for a bit of fun, I'll blow him up. <laughs> he went away anyway. <laughs> Oh, there's an echo in this room. Jesus Christ. Right, so there's two guys having a chat here. I've just, I can't get back up, can I? Damn, I just missed that path. It was her. Right, so there's two geezers here. Look at, I love this level. I mean, graphically, it's one of the best looking levels. You know, this is a halo moment. Look at the grass. <laughs> and you've got all the lighting, the trees, the, all the detail on the bricks on the wall. It's just, oh, it's superb. Anyway, let's just murder these two. It's about trying to blow their heads off. So I've just gunned them down. That was a bit of luck, actually. The AI bird helped me there. She shot, shot the geezer while I was reloading, so that's handy. So you've got to be pretty brutal on this stage. You've got to go for it. There's a guy going to walk past now. Because uh, in a minute, I oh, know, in a minute it can get quite tough. bit extreme but what the hell. Hard oh, balls. What happened there was I couldn't see my aim. My uh, the, the triangle in down the scope was obscured by some grass. <laughs> right. and I was just trying to be clever so that didn't wasn't really smart was it? Well right, I think there's a bloke up on top of the open but oh, he's not come out yet. He's getting hit. Oh, there we go. Right, stop pissed about and do this problem. Oh, 
I got him. Okay, up on the bridge. From this bit, they tend to move quite a bit on the bridge. Don't stay back when he pops up. Ah, oh, oh, sorry, just just as I shot him. Oh, I can't get him for that hole. Come on, big boy, you can get that there. Yeah, I know, where is it? Multiple hostiles ah. inbound. Got you right, it's one of them. Shit, I'm getting on my own pipe there. I'm gonna medicate myself before I die. Oh, I need to fuck his head off. That's oh, crap, man, my man. Damn, I'm a little exposed there. I'm gonna need to just uh, hike up there a bit and get some cover, I think. Too much progress and I need to make more. Okay, cool. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll just chuck a grenade through the window and blow his bloke up. It doesn't always work, but it's worth a try. Seriously, I can I could hear him moving, I knew I hadn't got him, I could hear him coming out. Nice, nice. Granada! There he come. Did I get him? No. You can usually tell if you have or not. Very sniper rounds. Yep, I have now. Well, right, okay, so I'll just. I can hear someone coming at me, where is it? Is it or is it the AI bird? No, it's a bloke. I knew it was. I could hear someone walking around. Arsehole. They're definitely done. A bit misty, so I can't really tell. I think we're okay. I'm going to go over there and see if there's any. Uh... Oh shit, there's some. See if there's any goodies that are hiding in there. It's always good to check just in case you get med kits or intel. What the hell? Who's shooting at me? Oh. oh, okay, that's weird. He usually comes out quick like that. <laughs> he just ranked Delve off the top. <laughs> nice. And I got a little bit of kit, which is quite nice. I just noticed my health went back up. Brilliant. There you go. Taking both snipers. Look at this track here. Oi, wake up. <laughs> Oh, it's dumb bastard, I can't move you. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. Just have to take a phone call. So let's get back into it. So there's a guy hiding out there, where is he? There he is. Okay, cool. Right, on we go. So just, just so much scratching going on with this level. It's absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what, that smoke effects, lighting. The build, building detail, grass detail. Absolutely stacked. Such a well made game. Watch your right arc, multiple targets. Right, here we go. Oh, okay. It's really gentle with the AK as well, if you just pull the trigger, it just shoots in the air with a kickback style. I want to do short bursts on enemies. It's all on your blown buildings from cars and shit, can't they? Cheers. Move out. Intel reports a tunnel system in the basement. Cool. Right, so we're going to get into that house now. Look at this the amount of detail on it. Considering how old the cams, it's first thing there's old and old. Babes, exception as well. I hate the medic to get home before I get killed. But I always try and keep moving while I'm reloading as well. Just I get a little harder for him to shoot at me. Sound effects on that boy, it's kind of amazing. There, there. Right, so the geezer coming out of that wall in a minute. Okay, that's weird. Normally there's pipes piled over the wall. Huh, interesting. 
Oh, he's one in there. Oh, I can't split it off anyway. Right, here we go. I've got a good eight on it. So basically, you've got to blow this door apart to get through it. Because apparently, you can't just push it through. <laughs> Oh, nice to do that health pack. Grenade it. Why well, you'd have to grenade a wooden door makes no sense to me, but. Oh, and I've destroyed some intel, which is excellent. Okay. Right, down to the basement. Oh, where's it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Right, so basically, you're just going through a tunnel system at this point to try and find your way out. Then. We end we're into the last phase of this stage, which is quite a bastard. I may do it first time, I may have to take a couple of cracks at it or clear it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll do it first time because, I mean, so far, the first two gameplays I got through the first stage is without any issue. I mean, first stage is easy anyway, but second one sometimes gives me trouble. But this part in a minute is where I tend to uh, hit a bit of a brick wall and I can make silly mistakes and just die. But hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully this will be a one-time thing. Here we go. Snipe rifle out. Right, geezer's up top. Use the for cover. Don't give away your position you so this is where you really need to play a few times and you get used to knowing where you are. Because I've died so many times on this part. Just little things like that bird sound effect. I mean, unless you wear headphones and you're watching this video, you may not hear all the little details. But if you wear headphones, you'll really hear it, and it's absolutely incredible. Look at that smoke trail, the lighting, boom. There he is. Oh shit! It took him out for me. I wanted to do that. <laughs> she beat me to it. Grab that. So I definitely need that because I will not be like alive for longer, boys. Right. So what I'm trying to do is. Throw some grenades because they all want to hit them and blow them but it's not just the best way to manage it because this bit is where it really kicks off. Come on, get it out before your pocket launch me again. Come on. Where is it? Shit. There he is. Oh, come on, don't reload right now. Jesus Christ. Weirdly enough though, it always appears to be that when you do that, if you get him as the rocket's in mid-flight, it cancels the rocket out, which I've never understood. Right, now you get hammered. Because they come from down below, across here, there's one there, go in the far corner as well, over there. And up there the rocket as well. If you want to just bash with him. Just throw a grenade over this on the side side. Because you will get slaughtered on this part. And this is why. Oh, you bastard. Got him. Oh, I'm getting sweaty palms about it. Shit, where is it? Where is it? Down there. Shock of grenade. Oh, I missed it. Try another one. There you go. Got him. Right. Duck in there and there's a bloke in here. No, there isn't. I thought there's a bloke in here. Maybe it's because I'm used to playing on hard mode. I don't know. Drop <laughs> some intel. No, no, no. Right, so they're all up top on this bit. So you'll be careful. I love this, look at that, it's not nice with Halo, that blue sky. Beautiful. I'm not going to get distracted by the gorgeous graphics, because I will get crushed. Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Look how bad him. He's over there. Where is he? He's up there. Got him. Jesus Christ, panic mode. I'm just using bed kit up, I think, because I've only got the one, but it helps in deep shit. <laughs> right. Coming downstairs, is he? No, I'll get the other guys first. I'd love to do that and all. Suppressor, I'm still looking for a suppressor. Really cool. I love that and all as you walk out. You can hear it echoing in the building. As you walk out, the sound immediately changes. It's absolutely brilliant. It's little things like that that I absolutely love. It makes it more authentic. It can be authentic, of course. 
had some geezer shooting me, is it? Come on, you toss away, are you? Oh, I sod him. Right, let's get upstairs. There's going to be a guy with a Voorhees mask up here going to try and get me. He's going to drop out of that hole. There he is. Boom! Bloke on the right here as well. Oh, no, he's not there. Oh, the explosion got him, that's why. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful health. Oh, loads of med packs. This is more like it. And ammunition, there we go. Oh, you little shit. So, up on the left. Over that. Should be guys over there. Just obliterate them. Duck. That's odd, I'll snipe right from. Intel. No, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's weird. Cool. They want to fire to the left because you actually saw there, he tries to run off and you'll duck, duck down that hole. Single shot. Reason being, there's a bloke in there trying to take his head off. There you go. A bit mercenary, but what the hell? Some, oh, oh when you grab this intel, it pushes the table across the room. Look. <laughs> Health, intel, grenades. Nice, we've got four grenades. 59 mounts in the chamber, 500 spare, and a couple of med packs, so we should be alright. This is this is the end now, this is where it gets a bit brutal. Enemy scene, get ready! So you want to take this rocket launcher. Sod the sniper rifle at this point. Because the rocket launcher will definitely help you at the end of the level. So I've got nine spare, one in the chamber. Let's do it. Just quickly load my chopper. There we go. I've got him. Copy that. There he is. He's up there. Shit. The bloke on the right, I think, would be correctly the rocket launcher. Incoming. Oh, no one has. No, there's one at the top. I thought there was, but I wasn't certain there. One at the top, then there's one on the right. Beautiful. Holy shit. Right. Where is he? He's up top. Solid. Bit of a waste board hell. I just want to keep my rocket on because this guy's up here. You got another one on your right. Got it. Beautifully done. Yeah, what is that? There you go, Dom. Got any grenades? Intel and there's loads of uh, nice stuff to pick up. There you go. Intel on the wall. Med packs. Lovely. Little med pack to boost my health, which is good. Ammunition. Right, so you go down underneath on the left. So you go down here. You get uh, a free bloke sort of jump out when you come out of here anyway. So you want to just throw an idea because here they come. A bit early actually, I think there. Oh that's nice to see my Get some more grenades. Right, we're getting over to that apartment block over that's the idea. So you can get a bit lost. Sometimes I've found myself going around in circles and then forgetting which way to go. So here they come out, they're in these two buildings, so you want to just throw a grenade and they just be on the safe side. That just bounce back, yeah. Enemy down. Right, there's a bloke on the top left, up there. There he is. Always make sure you take him out of the rocket launcher because he will cause you so much grief if you don't. And the first time I started playing the game, I didn't know he was there. 
I think it's hitting, I couldn't work out how it's going on. So this bit you want to just basically knock off a few of these first before you go over the street. Do the best you can. Limit the numbers. And then you find a soft partner. I'll just keep coming for a minute. And the AI girl is actually quite decent, she does actually help you quite a fair bit. So I've got plus down as well because, you know, as you can see, less exposure, less chance of being hit. I love when you hear that helmet sound and all with that metallic hit, so you know you've took them out. Come on, mate, drop. Alright, okay. I'll take a gauge out in the building up there. So when the dot goes from white to black, as that means you can blow it up. You can fire your rocket and boom. Look at that. What a beautiful sight. So I'll like try and take out as many as I can from a distance because once you get in the left hand side, once you get up there, in there, it, it will be quite brutal. There it is. So I think I've had trouble in the past with it, figuring out where they are because it's one of the right in the minute from the threat Oh, you yeah, bastard, you shoot me. Yeah. There it is, all the way. Come on, come on, come on, reload. Up top. Got you, Matthew. Right, you've got to make sure you take those out before you do anything, because if you don't, you'll be lucky to survive. So I'd say the main two parts for this end section of this level is to take out as many of the enemies first of all before you even get going into, into that area, into that apartment block and make sure you take out the twats with the rockets. This arsehole won't die. Come on, mate. Talk about taking the piss. Is there any bullets in the tank in the face? Gotcha. Bloody hell. Talk about taking a beating. Oh, mate, I know those lovers. I need to grab some more. All right, let's get in there. How many rockets? Three rockets and hardly any bloody bullets. But we have got four grenades. Alright, there we go. There comes the music, which means you know you're in trouble. We're getting close. We can access the steelworks through the network ahead. Cool. Right, so basically, what we want to do is go down here, go into the left, and sort of flank them in a way. We got a machine gun. Take it out. Take it out. So it's just a machine gun. Let's don't need to worry about that. We'll take that out in a minute. Bit over the top, but why not? Oh, actually, it was quite effective. It took them both out, really. Just reload my gun. Right. Uh, always look for that. Blow that shit up. Throw some grenades up here. There you go. Machine gun nesting does. Use that with. Basically, don't worry about the gauges. Just make it. I'm normally right. And there you go, that is stage three done. Now that actually went quite well, I'm doing well here. Three stages down, not one death. That does not happen normally. <laughs> so I think it's just that I've been playing on hard quite a lot. So going back to normal mode, I don't find it as challenging. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you as always for watching. Please leave your comments down below and I'll see you in part four.